demonstrating how to use Scrapey and use a CSV for your start URLs and you can selectively choose which URLs to scrape with your Scrapey Spider so you don't have to do a full-on crawl. So hopefully this will be interesting and um, I've already seen a question similar to this on Stack Overflow so I thought I'd answer that and kind of um, break it down a bit and make it more understandable and just demonstrate the use of a list comprehension with reading from a CSV file. So hope you enjoy. Hello everybody. How are we all in this mad, mad world? You're good, I hope. So let's begin with from Scrapey. I'm doing the imports here, so there's going to be four lines of imports, and I'm just going to put on each line, just I think that's more pep compliant. Uh, import spider. You don't have to use that, but it just makes the class instantiation look a bit neater when you do it. Uh, from Scrapey import requests as well and then this is the one that you always have to <laughs> remember the case sensitivity of so from crawler from scrapey.crawler import crawler 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 process there we go so let's just put a little comment up here Imports. Import. Um, sorry, just scrapey imports. So without these, um, you can call the methods directly. So this just makes your code a bit easier to read. So what I usually do is I do this. I do my imports. I do the start and then I go straight to the end. So um, if name Dunder, double underscore, it's called Dunder name, double equals two more Dunders, main. If you've seen all this before, then feel free to fast forward. I'll put the the times in the description process equals crawler process with don't forget the brackets on the end process dot crawl so once you've created the process object then you do process dot crawl and that's when you put in the name of the class of the spider so i'm going to call it the class Stack O and then rows prices process dot start and then brackets again. So we put that there. And well let's begin, let's create the class. So lowercase C class stack O spider. And then we do spider, which is um, uppercase. And then we will say name equals stacko spider. And you have to put that in single, or I put it in single quotes. Um, and in fact, let's keep it consistent and do that in single quotes as well. Okay, so we're ready to do our um, file opening and uh, reading of the CSV, but we can't do that yet because we haven't even got a CSV. So let's create a CSV of URLs to scrape. Okay, so for this example, I'm just going to create a new file in VS Code, but you can do it in any text editor you want, Sublime, Excel, notepad whatever but um let's create a 
CSV and we're going to call it data CSV and I'm just going to save it into the same directory so let's move that across and I'm just going to call data.csv and it's going to reside in the same directory as the spider itself so what we want is let's just make a list of companies so imagine um you haven't seen my history have you <laughs> um and also what you can do, you can create this without using quotes or anything so um, i'm just going to get maybe i don't know should we get six companies you'll get the idea after six i don't need to labor the point really but um HubSpot, not heard of them. Glassdoor, blah blah blah. So what we'll do is we'll we'll scrape six companies and imagine, um, yeah, you, you you may not want to crawl every one of the companies that are listed on Stack Overflow. Say for instance they've got <laughs> 151 pages and you're just interested in checking, you know, 10 or 20 of those companies each day. So. Um, Let's just get a couple more at random. No park size. So what we're going to do is we're going to have um, this CSV and then we are going to read the CSV into a list using a list comprehension. And then that list will form the start URLs. So let's just uh, minimize that and save it and then you go there and what we need to do now is just um <laughs> uh we need to say with open data.csv so this is just normal python here it's not anything specific to scrapey we're just going to open the file and then we're going to say start URLs, if I can spell it probably. Sorry about the typing. I really do need to learn to touch type properly. Right. And then what we do is we say line.strip. So for each line in that file, we're going to say line.strip for line in file. So for every line in the file, we're going to read the line, but we're going to do strip because we need to get rid of the each line will actually have a carriage no line return a forward slash n or forward slash r and um, we don't want that to form part of our start url so notice we've used a list comprehension here and if you're interested then read about uh, generators and list comprehensions in python and it generates it on the fly so it's not loading a huge list into memory it's just loading one at a time as it uses it and okay I've only got 10 things here but if you add a, a huge list then it would take up more memory um, yeah look up Python generators list comprehensions you can get um, dictionary comprehensions as well if you're interested so right def define let's define a method called default start request so by default that's um, it's hidden, but it runs and oh, talking and typing. Sorry. So by default, it runs anyway. But if you explicitly, uh, if you actually put it into your code, then you can do more things with it. So what we're going to do here is request. So request here. Ah, capital R, because that is the built in scrapey request method. And then what we will do is we will specify URL and then we pass it the list of URLs. So this is the important bit. We've read the URLs from a, te from a text file, CSV file, and then we can do something like call, call back equals self dot pass. And that's it for the start request method and then we can just do yield I don't 
any brackets there really. Yield request. So notice um, here it's lowercase. So lowercase. This is what we've um, we've created. Request is um, is an object which represents this built-in scrapey request method with the capital R. So we don't have to call this request. You can call it R if you want. And this is making the requests based on what you have in your CSV file. So um, how can we test it? Well, we can test it without actually doing very much at all. We can just say pass because what we're going to do is we're going to, from the start request, we're just going to go off to each URL and then we're going to come, we're going to collect that page and then we are going to pass it to pass and self dot sorry self and then we just need the response object which is the response from start request and this is the simple bit we just do pass here so if you're ready to watch this being run in anger let's have a go And that's some old output which I need to clear. And I've got an error there. Why have I got an error? I start URLs undefined variable. Yeah. URL equals ah self. Is it gonna go? Safe. Yeah. So because this is object oriented, we are using a class, obviously. So you need to tell it to use self dot start URLs. Let's go. Okay. So we're ready to test now. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to run it in. Um, let's just run it from Linux Mint's own terminal and just zoom in on that a little bit. And let's just run. I'll just show you the files that we've got in the directory. So we've got a data CSV. So if we do less data, there you go. You can see the URLs in there. And let's just run the spider. And it's running. And that was nice and quick. And you can see we've crawled six pages and got 200 response on each one of those so um, next you can go off and get your selectors and create your iteration and your next page navigation if you want to go deeper to enter the second level and so on but what we've successfully done here is we've read the start urls from data csv and we have if i just open up the csv We've opened, sorry, we've read from the CSV, we've read these six URLs and we've successfully gone off and visited them with Scrapey. So I hope that's been useful and really to distill this down into two lines, really, these are the important lines. So you open the CSV, line.strip must use dot strip otherwise you'll get the new line characters on the urls won't work and then you make your request and you explicitly use def start request so that's a built-in scrapey method but you don't normally see it if you want to explicitly use it then you can type it and you need to stick with this kind of format and then you yield the request as you would do with scrapey normarily normarily is that a word i don't know but there we go so obviously here i could off, then go off and get some uh, you know for link in links and then i can extract the job descriptions um links to various other bits and pieces i forget what which what actually was on the page so yeah you could go off and get uh, each job description so you would just then go off and uh inspect the element and then you would get the xpath and you would do response.xpath.get and get the text or the href or whatever it is you want but um yeah no that's uh, that's it for there for that's it for there that's it for today so hope it's been interesting and i'll be back with some more 
stuff soon so please subscribe thumbs up and all that yeah thank you for watching thank you